Hi, it's Caroline Cousins from transformationalenergyexpert.com. All the links are down below. And I'm talking today on the honeymoon effect and uh, why relationships go awry after maybe only a few weeks or a few months, what really happens. Now, relationships are all about relating to each other and most of our communication is subconscious communication. We're sending out frequency, we're sending out vibrations all the time. So we're in constant interaction with each other even when we're not actually voicing our words, even when we're not actually speaking or saying anything out loud. We are constantly communicating via our energy, via the vibrations and frequencies. So what happens when we meet somebody that we really like and they really like us is that we immediately switch from our subconscious mind into the present moment. So we start living from the present moment, which means about 90% of us roughly is living in from the conscious mind. So we're experiencing that moment there and then with that particular individual. And about 10% of that is coming from the subconscious mind. So most of our programming right there and then is in the present moment, if you like. So we're living very much in the conscious moment and experience it moment by moment. What happens is when you get familiar with somebody and you start to get to know somebody is that that begins to change. Over a period of time, we then start to revert back to the subconscious mind programming again. And the subconscious mind programming then comes in like this and we start operating from 95% of our subconscious mind and about approximately about 5% of our conscious mind. So then we'll, what we're really doing is we're living from the past. So we're living from those programs that have already been established. Uh, and that includes all the triggers, all the blocked emotions, the blocked feelings from the past, okay? So that's when we start getting problems within relationships because then you start thinking, well, I'm not really keen on what they're doing or the, their behavior is starting to make me feel like this or make me feel like that. Whereas in the beginning, it didn't bother you at all, but now it's starting to bother you because you are now operating from those old programs you have within you. Now, if you were completely clear of all of those triggers, then you would just accept that other person without judgment. You'd accept them as they are. There'd be nothing to moan about, nothing to groan about, nothing to dislike about them because you would have no judgment running there within your subconscious mind. But because we're so filled up with judgment, we're so filled up with programming and blocked feelings from not just this lifetime, but other lifetimes, if you believe that, then 99.9% um, .9 of the time in relationships, we are coming from the subconscious mind. So, um, so that is why things start to go awry. And if you both start going from the conscious mind, swapping into the subconscious mind as you get to know each other, then all your programs are going to start um, battling each other, really. Now, if you have the sort of, if you're not being that much triggered, then you might find that the relationship works really well, or maybe you have similar beliefs, similar feelings, and therefore the relationship works um, quite well and harmonious together. But if you find that you're each beginning to trigger each other a lot, then the best way to deal with that is then to look at what it is that that partner is triggering within you. So um, anything that is, you know, your partner cannot make you feel anything unless you're already feeling it yourself. So anything that they're doing, anything that they're saying that's bothering you, then you have to look at, well, why is it bothering me? What is it within me that they are triggering? What is it within me that they are bringing to the surface? Uh, and then instead of blaming the partner, uh, have a look at your own programming, have a look at your own blocked feelings and, and see if you can identify what it is uh, within you. So this is why things go awry in relationships after a few days, few weeks, few months, because um, initially it's called the honeymoon effect. And there's a brilliant book written by Bruce Lipton on the honey, uh, the honeymoon effect. And he talks about the biological cells with that and what happens as well as the subconscious mind. And that's fundamentally the reason why things start to go a bit pear-shaped after a few weeks or a few months in relationships. If you can work each of you individually on those programs that are being triggered by the individual, then um, you have every chance of success in that relationship. If you don't, then it's likely to, you know, go the other way. At the end of the day, you have to also remember that if you've attracted somebody in, 
um, then you've attracted someone in on the similar vibration that you're running yourself. So it's really important for both sides of the relationship, both partners in the relationship to work on their own stuff and work on their own triggers. And then the relationship has every chance of succeeding. I hope this helps. Do contact me if you have relationship issues and you wish to have a Skype session with me to help resolve them in any way. Thanks.